Hi guys, welcome back to a Scarlett Wilson creation. I got so much to show you guys today. I want to show you around my home to my Valentine's Day decor. It isn't 100% perfect. I mean, is it ever going to get perfect? But I started off my day with a cup of coffee. I really wanted you guys to hear how loud this new coffee machine is. Or at least I think it's loud. But I still love it because you can make a single pot. Let me know if that's normal. Um, it just seems way louder than like when I make a pot of coffee. Um, I got this for my husband for Christmas. But honestly, we all have been using it. I probably use it, I don't know, once a day. My niece uses it. My husband uses it a lot. So it is getting its money's worth. So let me know if you guys have a carrot. Am I just like the last person on the moon to get it? Um, to the left of uh, the coffee maker right there, I did have that like candy jar. That was a Christmas one. It actually has a truck on the back and I ended up turning it around. So it just looks like, you know, white and red for Valentine's Day, I guess. So I did left that there, but I did start my day with um, a nice uh, cup of hot chocolate and it was so, so cold. I don't know about you, but I'm in Illinois and it's freezing and hot chocolate in the morning. Um, and then I put some marshmallows in there. So, and the funny thing about this one is you can do teas, you could do um, coffee, you can do hot chocolate. So, um, yeah, whatever you're filling. And then that cup right there, I think I got that from Walmart. And I love it. I absolutely love that cup. I think it came from Walmart. I'm not 100% sure, but you can look at past videos if you want to see what I got. So I was originally scheduled to go over some Disney planning content. I do want to go to Disney probably in December of this year, but um, I had a change of mind. So I'm going to put, I'm putting the marshmallows back and you're going to see me like get my Disney planning binder notebook out, but I didn't end up doing that. Of course, this is going to be a Valentine's Day um, decor video, so you will see that, but I wanted to leave in um, this little clip um, because I wanted to show you my outside patio. We got snow, so this will be the second snow. By the time you see this, it would be the third snow, but I'm going to show you. Look at my outside patio. It snowed, but it like more ice on the roof and the little snow in the backyard, but it's definitely cold. So here we go. We move over into our Valentine's Day decor. We started in the kitchen because that's where our back door was. You can see I just put those picks in my everyday decor plant. That candle. Um, I'm thinking that's from all these. Um, could be wrong. And the runner is for Target. And here is my bedroom. I put some red lights on the top. Um, I see that on the right. I need to move those behind the bed a little bit. You can see where it's plugged in. Um, and then there is my fireplace. That uh, candle is from Dollar General. Um, it's okay. I don't really. That wasn't my best candle. And then over here in this section. I have made some changes. Since I put this um, video up um so the green truck is gone it kept something in that area was off to me and i eventually just took that green truck out so now we're going into my bathroom and um, these towels by the way so fresh and so clean that's dollar tree um I'm going to show you the gnomes. That's where I put them. And I did keep up those two paintings, pictures. Those are from Dollar Tree as well. So those are hanging on the wall. This bathroom is the last place that needs to be updated really in my home. So it is what it is. But I do try to make it a little bit festive. I got that red truck on the mirror. Tons of bath bombs for me and Jalissa to use. My niece really loves bath bombs. Um, and that's what I have on the toilet. That jar right there with those bad bombs are from um, last year. That Soak Your Troubles Away is Dollar Tree. 
And then the famous picture this year, Love Makes a House a Home, of course, Dollar Tree. So that's the bathroom. We're going to head into... the kitchen area just giving you kind of an overview of the cabinets and just the tiles that is how i set up my coffee bar i did post um this that set up on another video and my valentine's day candles i love them this year i've started loving candles even more There's one in the middle on the island. That one's from Michael's and it burns so good. If you see that one, get it. It smells so good if you like strawberry shortcake. That um smells up the whole kitchen. And we have like an open kitchen, so. This is a little shelf, corner shelf over here. It's kind of tucked in the corner behind our table. But I have so much like... I like how it turned out. I love the little sweet treat shelf and everything over here just turned out so well. And then there is a drawer that it has and I put like all my little candles there. Some Valentine's Day candles, but if they're small, they can fit in there. So there you go, the XOXO sign. Um, I'm gonna show you another sign in the living room. It looks very similar to that. Um, it's the same thing, it's just different lettering. So you will get the gist when we go into the living room. The sun was out and there was no picking up that um, pink color. That welcome sign came from the Dollar Tree as well. I really wanna DIY it. I basically wanna turn the red to pink, but I didn't get that yet. These are from the Dollar Tree, and then the little truck on the fish tank is Hobby Lobby. Love that. And then the, this kitchen. This kitchen is seasoned with love. That's from Dollar General. And that stays up all year long. I didn't put that up just now. That stays up. So I don't know why I ended up going back that way, but I wanted to show you the rest of the kitchen. And the, here you go. Here is the living room. That sign is the same as the one in the kitchen. It just says something different. Two other gnome signs. I really like those. I was able to put those on those like shutters or whatever you want to call it. My Valentine's blanket that I had a while. Um, and that Valentine's Day pillow I have since last year as well. I didn't get any other pillows for this year. I'm planning to get some for Easter. So, well, some pillow covers. And then that sign is like um, praying for you, it says. Just so all your neighbors know. I mean, it's a hard time. And I don't know. That's been up there since um, the pandemic started. That's my center table. And I'm not good with floral arrangements. I was proud of myself there. And then here you go. Here is the like um, entertainment console. And to me, it's my space. I store my candles under there. My reading books when I need some peace and quiet. My DVDs. Like I love this little area. The lights behind this one, they change colors. And currently I got them red for Valentine's Day. But normally I keep them green. So I really like how it lights up. And then I'm just going to give you a closer look with all of the Valentine's Day candy. And the red big heart came from Walgreens. My husband got it for me years ago. And look, it's such, it's in good shape. I put it in plastic every year. And I'm glad that it was able to be the showcase of Valentine's this year because, you know, I love it, but it's so big. And so when it's not Valentine's Day, I have to find a place to store it and put it all away. But I just want to show you everything up close. If you guys have comments about where something is from, you can ask me. This mirror, I absolutely love how it turned out. Those hearts, I think I got them from Walmart, but I'm not sure. It could be Dollar Tree as well. 
And I got that like wreath from Amazon, like when I did my original as a part of my regular everyday decor. It's a heart on the staircase. And I really, really like how the wreath turned out. And I wanted to show you the wreath at the top of the bed. So where I came back in here, um, I just put heart picks in there. And I got that idea from Crafty Girl. Um, you know, she puts picks in her wreaths. And I really like how it looked. So I did get that idea from her. I hope you like mine. And if you don't watch her channel, I mean, you probably do. Everyone watches her. She's amazing. But um, I got that idea from her. I was finally able to use my little girls. I put flowers in them. I really like how this area turned out. And I'm even thinking about keeping some pink in my space for a while. So I think I'm going to do pink for Easter as well. So we are moving over to the downstairs area. I ended up using the Dollar Tree tablecloth downstairs. That's like on my dining room living room table um down there in the craft room because i share that my craft room space with the um with the family room but here you go there's my desk kind of how everything turned out and since i was down here i thought i would give you a sneak peek at my little washi area so that's what you're going to see i'm going to show you all my washi five years of collecting washi and um, that is not even all of it. Those are just like the ones I use the most, if you ask. My premium ones and ones I just cannot get rid of. So that is going to be it, guys. That's the end of the video. I hope you like my home tour. There's so much more I still want to do. But uh, yeah, that's what it is. I will see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.